Friends of the Earth Ministry is a partnership with indigenous leaders and change makers in some of the most remote, dangerous places in the world. We seek to nurture the physical and spiritual needs of communities living in isolation, suffering the ravages of war and exploitation. And this was the health center. But you see now the destruction, all the wall is in ruin because it was destroyed by the bombardments. After some time, it was turned to be the prison. When helicopters started bombing, the, the neighbors started running. Even one of our house, the roof was shot. And bullet the whole night, the whole night, no sleeping. Juba was on fire. People were shooting the guns. And I saw even they were coming with their torches, searching for us. The grandpa was so desperate and hungry, he sell this young girl away for the sake of food. And that is happening so often in this area. Some people have run away. People are scattered like animals. Very many people lost their life. Yeah, it's not easy. Mm. Since 2005, we have provided access to medical care for those suffering and dying from preventable diseases. We have been able to establish the first medical clinic in a region where sickness and poverty claim over half of the children's lives. Since the start of our first school in 2008, our teachers have committed their life to empower, encourage, and equip students faced with the realities of civil war. With the help of child sponsorship, families are able to send their children to school. <laughs> Let's look at the, um, the kids that have the greatest need. Those will be the ones we want to do first. South Sudan is a new nation. We need human resources. but. Our people have not been in school, and so what we are looking for is to raise up children who are full of integrity for building this nation. It is very common in our country for young girls to get married in early age because the parents consider them as the source of wealth. That is why mostly you find it is only boys who are going to school. But some parents realize the goodness of the education and they have discouraged for early marriage and they know that when the girls go to school they will not become suffering women in the future they will be helpful to the community as well as to the country now people are experiencing a great change in their community even the community now are bringing their children we have created a home that has been a place of refuge. And we love them so much. I take the whole role of a mother at home. That's why you hear them call me mama. Our caretakers are devoted to teaching necessary life skills, building spiritual foundations, and showing unconditional love, providing an environment of health, hope, and trust. I feel like yeah, that this is now my family. I thank God really for what he has did in my life. I will be now raising the people of my community, leading my people in a good way. We have the people and we have the vision. We just need the resources. Together, we can restore hope to the ends of the earth.